Hello again, this time we are going to learn about higher, or, higher order functions and currying in OCaml. Now, higher order functions in OCaml are functions which actually take another function as a parameter, yes? Or maybe a function containing structure, sort of, yes? As an argument, as a parameter. Yes, you've heard that correctly you can pass a function as a parameter to another function so high, a higher order function is a function that receives as one or more of its parameters actually a function or functions or maybe it actually produces a function as its output as its returned value and then after that we're going to learn about currying quickly now let's take an example and see what exactly we mean by um, taking another function as a parameter keep looking at my code at the moment let's try to uh, declare a function let's say let's say um, for example I want to uh, let's say let's call it any name my function yes by the way we can have uh, underscores and function is done. I notice, unlike Java or something, uh, the naming convention that you have the first letter of the first word as small, and then the second letter, and the first letter of second uh, of second of the second word as capital, and so on and so forth. That's not necessary in OCaml. You don't have to do that. Anyway, so let's say my function, and then I say we receive three variables. Let's say f, x, and y. And what in the body, what I do is in the body, I actually apply. f to x and y so actually what this means here is that x and y are two parameters to function f yes so f here is a function and you notice it's very happy with it yes it's very happy with it and what that means what if you notice here the types here and their turn type what that means is that this is a polymorphic function and it knows that f is a function and it's applied to the second or th and the third variables so what I can do here is I can say for example my function and then pass uh, one of our previous anonymous functions let's say for example the one we used for max this one here so let me just copy and paste this here erase that so this is actually a function as you can see here it takes two variables x and y and then I pass it for example 5 and 6 and it works it gives me back 6 yeah, the maximum of, of, of 5 and 6 is 6. Notice that I pass this anonymous function here as a variable. In fact, in fact, in the last video, we gave that anonymous function a name and we call it max. Yes, so what we can do here is, as just to demonstrate this, how this works, we can actually say my function and then max and then let's say, for example, uh, 8 and 9. And it will automatically know that max is a function and apply it to 8 and 9 and give me back 9 as you can see so this is just how to, to, to demonstrate how we can pass arg uh, functions as actually arguments in OCaml and likewise we can actually return a function um, as our return value but we'll come to that in our upcoming videos now the second thing that I wanted to show you here or I wanted to demonstrate is this, this idea of currying I remember in, in uh, either in my last video or the one before I mentioned that in OCaml even if we pass multiple arguments as we do here we pass two but what happens is that a function in OCaml actually receives only one value but what happens here a chain of functions gets created in the background so the min x here from that another function gets created and it gets applied to y and the same happens if we have more than two parameters let's actually try to demonstrate but let's actually try to formally define what curry currying is currying I'm, I'm reading from Wikipedia now is the technique of transforming a function that takes multiple arguments um, uh, to, 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 to tra transform a function that takes multiple arguments in such a way or uh, 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 in, in such a way that it can be called a chain of functions yes each with a single argument so what happens is a function that has multiple arguments it gets transformed to a chain to a chain of other functions each of these new functions takes only one argument and the name 
goes back to Haskell Curry who actually uh, managed to get it to work to get to get it working it was originated by Moses some something I can't read his name I'm sorry but I'm reading from Wikipedia you can check that on the Wikipedia page enough talking let's take an example and see what currying exactly is and how it actually works let's go back okay let's, let's create uh, some uh, function of our own let's create function that takes for example two arguments let for example um, multiply and then say x and y which actually multiplies x and y notice here that my function now will no longer be polymorphic why because I am using the two variables now to do some arithmetic to do multiplication and I'm using the integer multiplication so Occam will automatically infer that x and y are integers and the function will not accept any type other than that so if I try for example if I say multiply 2.5 and 6.3 Occam will not be happy with that because as I said it automatically infers that the two variables are integers but now, now um, as you can see if I multiply if I apply that to two integers of 5 and 6 I get 30 right yes but the way a currying works is as follows if I use parentheses now and say multiply 5 and then and then I'm sorry 6 this is exactly what happens in the background a sort of parentheses are used and I'm sure you are familiar with the precedence of parentheses here that whatever inside the parentheses is actually executed first and then the result uh, gets passed to the next variable and so on and so forth but this is what happens in the background that in OCaml every function receives or deals with only one parameter that's what happens a new function gets created in the background and then the next variable is passed to that function as its argument as you can see I get the same result in fact I can prove that by maybe giving that actually a name let's na give this function a name let's say multiply 5 and it actually equals multiply 5 yes so what I can do is I can so remember notice now that this function or this part of the function here has this name here so I can what I can do is I can pass 6 to that variable and I should be able to get exactly the same result I hope that's making sense this is how currying works that if a function has multiple parameters it gets transformed to a chain of functions each of which only deals with one parameter if we have more parameters here then the same process gets repeated until we reach the last parameter I just wanted to demonstrate how currying works thank you very much for working and please I'm sorry thank you very much for watching and please write down these ideas and these notes if you're taking notes because you will find them quite useful when you start coding in OCaml. Thank you very much again and I'll see you next time.